I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Thursday, June 25th, is found in Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses two, two through six. Now I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who, is, who receives circumcision that he is beyond, he is bound to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ, you who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is of any avail, but faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. Faith active in love. The only thing that counts in faith, working through love. Verse 6. At some time in our lives, most of us feel pressure to go along with our group or our leader. If we display the marks of, our, of the group's identity in our social media posts, we hope we'll be accepted. If we wear the right fashions or go to a certain college, maybe others will approve of us. If we follow the leaders, perhaps we will be safe from bullies at school or crime in the community. But these practices don't make us free just captive to something or someone else. For freedom Christ has set us free, says Paul, verse 1. Then he warns the followers of Christ not to accept circumcision or uncircumcision, outward signs as guarantees of security or acceptance. Those marks count for nothing. What makes, us, makes all the difference is faith working through love. The gracious, self-giving love of God in Christ Jesus is the ground of our confidence and the source of our freedom to love our neighbor as Jesus has commanded. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, free us to set our hope on your love in Christ Jesus, our true Lord and Savior. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.